Hello, candle lovers. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. And today I have a Halloween candle haul for you. These candles are from the Above Love Co. Candle Studio, which is located in Chicago. And I've been in touch with their owner, OG, for a while now. And she sent me a bunch of candles just asking me to give her my honest opinions and talk about them on my channel if I want. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're interested in any of these candles, I will link below as to where you can get them. And I also have a promo code. If you use the code All Aboot Candles sent me, you'll get 10% off your purchase. I'm not being paid. This isn't a paid endorsement. I'm not making a commission, but I did receive these candles as a gift. Their Halloween movie night collection is really cool. It's a horror movie themed collection and all of the candles came wrapped up like a little box of popcorn. Let's see which one this is. This is Horror Movie Hero. Ooh, looky there. And look at this cute little <laughs> popcorn charm. All of the candles that they do come with some sort of a little charm. And they also have a really cute like glittery finesse on top of the candles. I mean, these are just adorable. All these candles are 100% soy wax and six ounces. And the scent notes for Horror Movie Hero are Victory Violet, Teakwood, Honeysuckle, and Bergamot. Oh, interesting. So this is not a really like this is not like a really scary smelling Halloween candle. It's actually got a little bit of a airiness and a lightness to it. There's, there's definitely a top note of something citrusy and bergamonty. There's also a floral. This candle to me, this candle smells like, this candle smells purple. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Probably not. It's, it's a fairly top to mid-range candle, and it's a bit of a sort of floral, um, briny situation. It's quite airy and a little bit mysterious. <laughs> there is definitely a wood note in there as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily pick out teak wood, but there is definitely something a little woodsy and cozy, but also something very airy and floral on top. But it's really, really nice. Yeah, horror movie hero. The scent notes on that again are Victory Violet, Teakwood, Honeysuckle, and Bergamot. Yeah, Honeysuckle. Yeah, I get that too. This is really nice. I feel like there might be a little bit of neroli in this one also. A little bit of a neroli floral. Not bad. I like this one a lot. What else do we have here? Oh, Scream Queen. I have already smelled this one. I think it might be my favorite of this Halloween collection. So cute and sparkly. All right, the scent notes for Scream Queen are black cherry, patchouli, chocolate kisses, and cedar. Oh, I really, really like this one. This is, to me, a really good um, sort of classic Halloween fragrance. I feel like Halloween fragrances are kind of falling into two categories right now where you basically just have nice, fun, fruity or floral scents with Halloween packaging and you call it a Halloween candle. Something in the line of like Vampire Blood or Ghoul Friend from Bath and Body Works. And then there's the Halloween candles that are actually kind of funky and weird and dark and mysterious. And this is like, a funky and dark, mysterious, chocolatey gourmand. What do we have here? Black cherry, patchouli, chocolate kisses, and cedar. It's that note of patchouli that makes this really interesting. First and foremost, on top, you have like a woodsy chocolate, like um, almost like a, like a dusty, woodsy chocolate. 
And in the base, there's like a very, um, a very distinctive and pronounced black cherry. Now, it's not like, um, it's not like a black cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works or a black cherry note from Goose Creek. It's like a warm, dark cherry. There's like this sort of funky, sharp patchouli note, and I really like it. Mmm, this is really interesting, you guys. It's like a dark, funky, fruity, chocolatey, almost gourmand, but maybe a little bit too sort of airy to be a gourmand. It's really rich. This is a very rich, like, mid to base sort of candle. Oh, I really like this one. I think this one might be getting lit up first. Nice. Scream Queen from the Above Love Candle Studio. What else do we have here? Candy Apple Craze. Look at the cuteness. Look at the cuteness. I really love these. Okay, so the notes on Candy Apple Craze are candied apple, caramel, cinnamon, and roasted peanuts. Ooh, okay, this one is quite sweet, but not in a really like sharp saccharine way. This is the sweetest one so far though. I think first and foremost, you're getting a caramel note on the top and I really like that it's sort of a gentle and smooth caramel note. I find caramel notes from like Bath and Body Works and Goose Creek so cloying. But this has a nice light nuanced sort of creamy caramel. And then in the middle, you get a little bit of apple and cinnamon. And then there's sort of a roasty note underneath. Something a little bit roasty. And I am getting, I am getting something nutty as well. Roasted nuts. I wouldn't be able to say that they were necessarily peanuts, but you have that sort of like roasted, nutty, almost crunchy kind of aroma. Okay, either someone just fired a gun outside or lit a firework off. <laughs> what the heck is going on in the neighborhood today? <laughs> I live pretty inner city, guys, and I usually do you all the courtesy of closing all my windows before I record, but we're just gonna push through this and put up with the, put up with the neighborhood hooligans. I think these are some really creative scents. You know, I feel like a lot of us are <laughs> complaining every year about how many repackages that we get from a lot of the big candle companies. And I think looking outside the box towards the more like independently owned candle studios is a great way to find something that's a little bit new and interesting and tickles your nose buds <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> nose buds. Mmm, I really like this one. Candy Apple Craze. And then there is also the Zombie Baddie. This is kind of like the flagship candle of this collection for them. And a fun fact about this candle, apparently it is UV light activated, so it glows in the dark. Now, I think what I will probably have to do is insert a clip here. When the sun goes down and it's nighttime, I'm gonna insert a clip here of me playing around with it in the dark. Oh, that, that sounded dirty. <laughs> with the candle, gosh. It came with this little UV light to activate it. I'm gonna save this candle for um, my Halloween party this year, I think. Anyways, getting into the notes for Zombie Baddie. White peach, amber, vanilla, and lotus blossom. This is like a really, really beautiful, smooth, kind of florally candle. This candle doesn't have the same kind of edge to it as the other ones do, but it's a really, really lovely fragrance. On the top, you're getting, um, you're getting like a nice, light, and smooth floral. And something a little bit fruity, that, that peachness. And it's a really nice, like, juicy peach note. And I'm very picky 
about peach fragrances. I need it to be like a light, uh, airy, uh, smooth peach that's not too sweet. And that's what I get from this. And then there's a really nice, rich amber note in the bottom as well. Or in the mid. That amber is in the mid range of the candle. And then there's like a vanilla, a little bit of a, 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 a floral vanilla note in the, in the base of it. Like, I like this one a lot. These candles are all going on sale today. I will link to their website below. You can use the promo code Candles sent me to get yourself 10% off. And I really suggest checking them out, especially if you've been feeling let down by some of the bigger companies' Halloween rollouts, or if you're just in the mood to try something a little bit different and a little bit new. I'm really intrigued by what OG, the owner of um, the Above Average Candle Studio, I'm really intrigued by what she's doing with her candle collections. She's releasing really nice, fun, cohesive collections that really think a little bit outside of the box in terms of what a fall candle is or what a Halloween candle is, but also staying true to that theme and having really cool, like, cohesive collections. And all of the little details that come with these candles I just think make them a little extra special you know what I mean oh I'm obsessed I really just don't start burning Halloween candles until October but I think that a couple of these I can definitely get away with like an end of summer burn specifically horror movie hero and zombie baddie I think these two might have to um, might have to get fired up pretty soon and I'm gonna save screen queen and candy apple craze I think for October. I'd like to thank OG from the Above Average Candle Studio in Chicago for sending me all these treats. I'm so excited to dive into them even more and thank you for joining me today for this candle haul. I really appreciate it. If you could hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff, I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram at allaboutcandles and you can email me allaboutcandles at gmail.com and so until next time, my dear candle-loving friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye now.